Hello, friends, and welcome to Load of Croc. I'm going to be honest, this episode's a tough one for me. We're making a really great appetizer for the crock pot, and I did it with the Super Bowl in mind. Great dish for any party, but really great for the upcoming Super Bowl. And the hard part for me is that I was hoping that Super Bowl would include the San Francisco 49ers. But alas, as they say, the show must go on and on we will go because in this episode of Load of Crock, we are making spinach artichoke dip in the crock pot. Okay, friends. I promise I won't use this episode to share my woes about the championship game, but I will use it to talk about this lovely spinach artichoke dip. Not only is it easy and taste amazing, but there are some crazy fun things you can do with the leftovers. It makes a really good batch of dip. If you're hosting a lot of people, maybe there won't be, but if there are, I've got some fun things for you to consider doing with it, which we'll talk about after this. I'm gonna have you watch me put this together. There are two steps that are involved, but still super simple. And the best part is after you get the second step done, you can set it aside and just forget about it. Kind of like how I wish I could forget about that NFC Championship game. Ingredients for this dip include cream cheese, artichoke hearts, green chilies, mayonnaise, sour cream, shredded parm, spinach, and shredded mozzarella. In your crock pot, add in the two cups of spinach, the can of drain chopped artichoke hearts, three fourths cup of mayo, one fourth cup of sour cream, your can of diced green chilies, your mozzarella cheese, and all of the shredded parm aside from that fourth cup. Give it all a really good mix, and then add your cubed cream cheese on top. Place this on high for one hour, and then when it is getting a little bubbly and brown around the edges, add some salt and pepper. At this point, the cream cheese will be softened. Give it a really good mix. Then you'll want to grab that fourth a cup of shredded parm, add it on top, put it back on low for 30 minutes. A few things for you guys after watching that. So first, I put it the initial dip I put on high for one hour, let it get real crispy and crusty around the edges. So every crock pot's a little bit different, so you'll wanna watch for that when it kind of starts getting brown and bubbly. Then that's when I took it out, mixed it all up, and then put the shredded parm on top. I also added a little bit of salt and pepper you saw there, just to give it a little bit of flavor in that last mix. Put it back on low for 30 minutes, and then moved it to warm, and it was ready to go. So that was the the temperature and amount of time that I did. Um, Second thing, I used green chilies to give it a little bit of a kick, but if you're not a green chili fan, don't do green chilies. Also, you could put some onion in it, you could mince up some garlic and put that in there. So really, whatever your taste buds like, do that in the dip. Um, And then finally, as I said, leftovers. You guys, there are some really cool things you can do with this with leftovers. One, make a quesadilla. Fill it with the leftover dip, put a little bit of shredded mozzarella in there, cook it on your stove or whatever, use what you might cook a quesadilla on, and it's really good. Two, a grilled cheese. Spread it on that bread, put some provolone or mozzarella on there, and then grill it up, eat that. And three, pasta spaghetti, penne, whatever your noodle of choice is, mix in the the spinach artichoke dip, maybe add a little bit of extra cream of choice just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Great with pasta. So some serious fun leftovers you can do with this. So it's a really good one that if you want to make a double batch or anything like that. You also, I read, I cannot confirm myself, but I researched and I've read that up to two months it can freeze. So if you make a huge batch and know you're going to have another gathering in two months or less, freeze it, get it back out, thaw it out, throw it in the crock pot, use it again. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. So while it's been hard not having the 49ers in the Super Bowl, making this dip and eating it was super easy. And you know what else is super easy? Loving this load of crock community. You guys, thank you for everything. I want you to know how much I've appreciated all of you. In January, we hit our four-year load of crock anniversary of when we first went live with our some of our first recipes. And I continue to be humbled by and grateful for all of you. So thank you, thank you so very much. 
I know I say it all the time. I hope everyone knows how much I truly appreciate everybody's continued engagement and interest in what we're doing here with Load of Croc. So you guys, this is it. Maybe the Niners didn't make it to the Super Bowl. Maybe I'll get the ability to accept that someday. But in the meantime, let us never forget. Touchdown, Jerry Rice. And check out the spinach artichoke dip in the crock pot.